this video i am going to discuss about the shear wall okay so in generally to uh, resist the lateral loads like earthquake load or wind loads we will be using the shear walls okay so if the lateral loads are predominant in that structural area i mean like wherever the structure is located in that case we will be uh, giving the preference for the shear walls okay so let us see how we can create the shear walls and how we are going to design and uh, we are going to get the results for the shear wall so i'm i want to define the shear wall in this front view for example for our uh, understanding purpose so just going for the elevation and i'm just going to choose the first one click on apply click on okay and i want to define one shear wall here 2 3 and 4 and in one of the shear wall i i will be creating a door opening okay and one of, in one of the shear wall i will be creating like a window opening okay just i'm going to create some openings in the wall also and accordingly how we are going to get the results will be observing these all the things in this video so first of all to define the shear wall we need to give the shear wall section okay and so in order to define that click on define go for the section properties and click on wall sections click on add new property and just whatever name you want to give this so i am just going to give shear wall here shear wall and the property type is specified and the wall material is concrete m25 grade so already for this model Uh, i have defined all the materials and column beam sections already okay so i have taken the existing structure and just showing the shear wall okay you can create a new structure from the basic level so here we need to define the wall thickness so generally it will be something minimum is 6 inches so either you can define like 9 inch wall etc okay so i'm just going to consider 250 mm and click on okay click on okay now i have to uh, define the shear wall okay so i have chosen the elevation view from the first grid okay now make sure that here we need to select the similar stories or all stories okay so just go for all stories and you can go for draw and just go for the draw wall objects and just go for the draw rectangular wall here okay and from the property just select the shear wall okay and you need to define the first point and the opposite corner of the rectangle okay so automatically the shear wall has been created for the remaining floors okay this is like g plus 3 building and similarly i want to create another shear wall from here to here so let it be like this suppose okay and here i want to provide the door opening okay and from the elevation i mean just i'm going for elevation and selecting the a grid i mean a grid line click on okay and i want to provide another shear wall in this view okay so just i'm going to select like this okay now uh, i have to create an opening here in order to create an opening what we can do is so just select the shear wall and go for the edit option here we are going to have the edit shell just go for that option and you can go for divide shell so whatever number like whatever uh, number of divisions you want to give you can just give that one okay uh there are number of options just select the divide quadrilaterals or triangle into okay so i'm just going to divide it by 3 by 3 areas click on apply okay so this will be a square opening okay so if you want to create 2 by 3 then you can go for 2 by 3 also so click on apply yeah so all it has been applied now next in the in the same way just go for the elevation and select the one and uh, click on apply click on okay and now i want to define i mean like i want to convert this into so this is also 3 by 3 and click on apply click on okay so i want to delete this in order to create an opening there so i have selected the uh, panels there and delete them okay and next similarly just going for the other view that is in the elevation view and going for the one sorry a click on apply click on okay and i'm just going to delete the middle portion click on delete okay so right now we can see the 3d view of the shear walls here okay this is a total i mean without any opening there is a wall panel here there are uh, there is a shear wall panel with door opening and here it is a window opening so just we are going to assume it like that for better understanding and next we need to define the loads okay already uh, i have defined the load patterns here like earthquake and wind loads here okay 
since we have discussed this all the things in the previous video you can just refer if you have any doubt there and uh yeah i have i have to assign the earthquake load and wind load for this so what we can do is so just select the objects okay we can directly go for the select and go for the select and click on object type and you can go for the walls okay otherwise if you want to select with respect to property we have defined there then go for the select and just go for the property option and select the wall sections there okay sorry uh, you can just go for material properties and select the m25 so if you are selecting m25 great uh, columns also will be selected sorry so just go for the select and we will be going for object type here and let us select the walls here we are having only shear walls now so just select it and after this we need to define the uh, wind load okay so for example this is the windward then you have to define the windward direction here wind load in this direction okay so let us consider the wind direction is acting in this way okay in that case we need to select only in this elevation view only i'm just going to select manually on the screen like this and then we need to assign the wind loads for this click on assign and then go for shell loads click on wind pressure coefficient okay and whatever the coefficient you have provided in the pattern just define that here and just select whether it is a windward or leeward and click on apply okay and click on okay so here we can just let me refresh this view refresh window here otherwise let me select it uh, let us go for the 3d view here and you can see that wind load has been assigned to this panel okay so if you want to give wind load for whole uh, structure already we have seen we have to create the diaphragm and we, we need to assign the all the things okay and already i have assigned the earthquake and uh, yeah earthquake load for the structure already so next next thing is we need to define the combination so click on uh, load combinations here and click on add default combination there was the combination for the structure i mean normal frames so if you want to define the combinations for the shear wall we need to select the concrete shear wall make sure that you are selecting this and according to this as per the code the combinations will be generated and click on ok click on ok and we can see that uh, under load cases i have defined the earthquake x direction y direction wind positive and negative direction okay so according to that the load combinations will be generated and after this one more important thing to do is we need to label the spandrel and piers of the shear wall okay so let me go for the elevation one and uh, let me explain what does it mean so click on apply click on okay so here we can see that for creating a door opening i have create i have uh, divided the panel into number of divisions here okay so whatever the vertical portions are there which take the vertical loads okay that comes under pier okay so these are nothing but the piers okay and these horizontal members which are supporting the uh, openings okay like it could be a window opening like this okay or it could be a door opening this so whatever the horizontal members are there those are known as spandrels okay and vertical members are known as piers and this is known as spandrel so for door opening we are going to have only one spandrel that is above and for window we are going to have the spandrel at below the sill level and above the window here okay so we need to label all this so in order to label we need to go for the define and we are going to have the pier labels and spandrel labels here okay so yeah you can define the same pier for uh, multiple divisions there or you can create multiple piers also so what i'm going to do is for better understanding i'm going to take uh, one two three four for this one okay uh, let me change the renaming here one uh, p2 add and this is p3 add new name okay and this is p4 p5 p6 for the right side of the member okay I mean right side of this panel. So let us take P4, click on add new name, similarly P5, and click on add new name, and P6, click on add. So here I want to assign P7 for this wall, okay? So let us take P7 for this wall, okay? Click on add, and for the window, I mean like the side wall, I want to assign 
P8, P9, P10 and 11, 12, 13. Okay. So P8 add P9 add new and uh, next one is P10. So click on add new name and next one is P11 and click on add new name again and next one is 12 add new name and click on 13 add new name so for uh, for more clarity we are uh, going to create number of peers like this if you want to define same peer label for all the walls you can define that too okay so click on add new name and click on ok similarly we need to define this panel also i am going to define s1 for this s2 and s3 for this side okay so totally there are three spandrels from the first view from the front view we can see that for each floor there is one spandrel for each uh, shear wall in each floor. Similarly if you are going for the side elevation like if you are selecting the A line click on OK. Here we are having top and bottom spandrel views here. Okay. I mean spandrels. So we need to define labels for that. So just go for the define and click on spandrel labels. So let us take S1 is for this one. I mean uh, this floor type and let us click on add to I mean S2 so just rename it as 2 S2 here and click on add new name and next one is S3 option and click on add new name and click on ok now we need to select the uh, peers for which you want to give the P1 ok I am just going for all stories and yeah let me go for the front elevation for this one let us go for the elevation and select the first line. Click on apply. Click on OK. Now since we have kept the all stories option. So just I am going to select this. And go for the assign option. And under shell we are going to have the peer label option here. Okay. So click on that. And I want to define it as P1. And click on apply and you can see that p1 has been assigned there similar way you have to select the second one and name it as p2 click on apply similarly select next one and select it as p3 click on apply okay now let us define this as p4 p5 p6 so select p4 apply and this is p5 apply and similarly this one is p6 so apply and similarly next this is p7 right so just select and let us go for p7 here click on apply okay and coming to the uh, this elevation view i'm just going to activate this view here let me expand it a bit more yeah i'm going to select this and let us rename that as p8 click on apply again similarly p9 so in this way we need to assign the peer labels for all the sections i mean all the panels there so next one is P10, apply and similarly this one is P11. So uh, the vertical low transformation will be done by the peers and we just we are labeling it. Okay. And this is P13, click on apply, click on OK. Okay. Similarly we need to define the span rules also. So just select this, go for the assign again and under shell you are going to have the span rule label. Just select the span rule and just assign it for S1, click on apply and Okay, okay. So here, here generally, if there are two spandrels and you are defining the labels as S1 and S2, the upper one will be S1 and lower will lower one will be S2. Okay. Since the next section is S2 and S3, I am going to select the upper one as S2 and the lower one as S3. Okay. Now just going for the uh, upper spandrel, just go for the assign option, go for this shell and select this panel label and let us assume it as s2 okay or you can give s1 also no problem so let us go for s1 and next one is s2 okay so just go for s2 no need of s3 here and click on okay now we can see the spandrel labels on the screen for the both views like front and side views okay so in this way we have uh, we have uh, applied labels for the spandrels and the peers in next video we'll see the analysis and design of the Share one.